everyone, greetings of the day. We had two special assemblies this week. KG one f students performed assembly on the theme gratitude. Students presented the theme through quotes and showing what gratitude means. They also danced very well on the song Attitude of Gratitude. That means that we all need to have an attitude of being grateful to others for whatever they are doing for us and appreciate it. KG1D students showcased one of the sustainable developmental goal, gender equality. Boys in pink and girls in blue made it loud and clear that it is okay for boys to cry if they feel like. And girls also can do any kind of job irrespective of their gender. They all have equal rights and they should enjoy them without having any fear. So KG1G, well done on a wonderful assembly and the message that you gave us. Let us now listen to our students of KG1 and KG2 and the pre-KG teacher about what they did in academics this week. This week, children have learned a new letter H. They did alliteration on the same. They made a house on their craft notebook. In literacy, they have learned a new story, a rainy day, and they were enjoyed making the rain clouds with the paintings, and they set the story in a sequence. This week, they have learned number seven and eight. They did the formation of seven and eight. They used the clay and make the number seven and eight. In UOW, they were learned about the rainy season through a PPT. They made the rain clouds and they learned what are the things we are using during the rainy season. In phonics, we learned the sight word come. We practice blending and segmenting to read the CVC words and made caption as well. In literacy, we revised the story, the little card. We enacted the story and we did sequence things of the story. This week in numeracy, we have appraised our understanding of the numeracy concepts that we have learned previously this year. The competition will be continued next week too. This week in UOW, we investigated and tested with dissolving. We were curious to know which materials dissolve or do not dissolve in the water. We also recorded findings on the recording sheet. In literacy, we learned the new story, Fragi the Fish. We were able to learn new words like pollution, fritty, beyond, still, little, salty, journey, bulldozers, pollutant. And we were able to sequence the story in the correct order. This week in numeracy, we learned subtraction word problem. We were able to to read and solve the word problem. We also framed and solved our own word problem. We learned number name 18 and wrote in our notebook. In UW, the topic water continued. This week, we learned about water pollution. We understand water pollution is unclean or impure water. We discussed Various ways how to reduce water pollution, why reducing water pollution is important. Our students are now practicing for their year-end celebrations. Pre-KG, KG1 and KG2 are all geared up for their performances and I'm sure you will be waiting to watch them perform on stage. The circular for pre-KG celebrations is already shared which is scheduled on March 2nd which is next Thursday. We expect you all to be present as we are presenting our first pre-KG year and celebration where they will perform as a class. Our KG2 students will have their graduation day along with the year and celebrations as they will be going to grade 1 leaving the kindergarten. We have seen students are very eager to move to grade 1 and they are also ready academically, mentally and physically. I am extremely delighted and happy to announce that our KG2 students participated in the Spellathon conducted by Ambassador International Academy and they secured second position. They did extremely well. They had four rounds to participate and some of the rounds were very challenging but they did very nicely. So I am very thankful to my literacy team for training and also to you parents for helping the students at home. So let me tell you who these students are. Aran from KG2E, Ayan from KG2B. 
and Niranjan from KT2 Edge. So we wish them congratulations and all the best. So this is all from my side for this week. Thank you for listening to me. Have a wonderful week ahead. <laughs>